Hey fellas, this is my uh, Hang Long T34, and it's still pretty much stock. I haven't really done that much to it, uh, except I did make one little mod that you guys might be interested in. Now, if you look at the back of this tank right there, if you're very careful and you slide a blade right in there, that'll pop right off. Okay? There you go, it's just the, so let's get the post to hold it in place. And that's all it does, is it just sticks in there. It's actually a really good fit. The hinges fit really well. You have to be kind of careful, because it'd probably, I imagine it'd be easy to mess this up. But so far, I've been doing it with no problems. And uh, what that has allowed me to do is put a little T on top of my smoke unit with this nifty little uh, knurled up fuel stopper here so when I want to add smoke fluid that's all I got to do is pull that out now I can tell you I'm thinking about putting a string on this because all you got to do is drop this down in there one time and you'll understand why <laughs> but anyway now I add my smoke right there and I did that because I know how delicate these smoke units are if I was as good as Storm and Norman I wouldn't have any problem he's like the king of smoke but being just a regular Joe I have to be really careful because these things will burn up easy and I've replaced quite a few of them already so when I do add smoke, I use something like this. I got a friend that's a nurse, and she got me these, and these will measure out to exactly half or one milliliter of uh, fluid. But you can also get these. Now, it depends on where you work or where you live. Um, you can see this is labeled Kroger Pharmacy, and I don't know if Krogers are everywhere or what, but what this is is um, it's designed to measure out oral medication for children like cough syrup and stuff like that and it's marked i don't know how well you can see it in the video but it's marked the first line is one milliliter and then it's got two milliliter or two tenths of a milliliter i guess increments it's also marked in teaspoons now i never put more than one half a milliliter of smoke fluid in my tank at one time and thanks to the advice of storm and norman i use just stock baby oil that's the stuff right there. It works great. It's cheap. Get it at the pharmacy. So there you go, fellas. It wasn't a very difficult mod. You just pop the top off of there. And, of course, you have to take the whole top off to get at the smoke unit. But all that is is a T from a fish tank. You can get this kind of stuff at, like, Kmart. You see, I got a whole little jar of them. They're just different T's and elbows for fish tank uh, air filter systems and the tubing that that uses. And it happens to be a really good fit for these tanks. So anyway, that makes it a lot easier to put smoke into the tank, a lot less chance of burning up my smoke unit. Um, doesn't do anything for me beating the crap out of the camera and knocking it around while I'm making these videos, but it did work pretty good for the smoke. And then when you're done, this pops right back on. It actually fits in place really well, on mine anyway. I'm not sure how it's going to be on anybody else's. And I've never had any problem with it popping off or anything. But now this is my question. If I turn this into a parade version, if I add the uh, IMEX metal road wheels and paint the sidewalls white and all that stuff, what do you guys think about the PE, the photo etch screen for the top here? Do you think that's going to be a problem or I think that'll even be feasible? Man, I'd hate to mess up that top because you'd probably have to buy a whole new top just to get that tiny little piece. So anyway, your ideas and thoughts are appreciated, and that's the little mod for the uh, Hang Long T34 Smoke Unit. So Mod Squad, see you next time.